Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Raylo. And Sashimi. And tonight we are here to talk about one of the more rare endemic lives, one of the more difficult ones for us to find. He's given us days of trouble. The, uh, the Winter Moon Nettle, he is in the Hoarfrost region. Uh, he will actually spawn at the top of the mountain. So there are a couple things we gotta go over before we actually get out there to him. Uh, before you leave town, the main thing you need to worry about is what you're gonna eat. So let's get down to the canteen. Alrighty, so these guys are ridiculous rare, even with the uh, feline zoo. Zoo something. Zoo master. Yeah, that one. Even with that skill, they are incredibly rare. So we highly recommend eating or drinking yourself into a stupor before you go and farm for these guys because it's practically required. They're that rare. And what it does is it makes it more likely that they will show up for you. Yep, Zoo Master makes the all rare endemic life more likely to show up. And if you guys are interested, if you don't have the ingredients, we do happen to have a video over Zoomaster. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description and put it in the end cards. Yep. So, next we need to go out to the Hoarfrost region. You're going to want to make sure it's night and clear, which right now it's the exact opposite. <laughs> it is day and blizzard, so one moment. All right, so now it is nighttime and clear. It says 15 here. We don't want to go to camp 15 just yet. We're gonna start going. Uh, we're gonna start with camp seven. All right, now we are here in the hoarfrost region at night, and I do want to remind you we did not go up to 15 like I said at first. We are coming down to camp seven. The reason for that is to save a little bit of time. But when you exit, you don't want to go down this hole to the right of the box. You want to go out the exit to the left. And we are doing this because you can actually save yourself time climbing the mountain by spotting it down here. If you have the Assassin's Hood mantle, you move faster, but you also aggro everything. So before you start climbing the mountain, it's kind of hard mode if you miss seeing any monsters. And if you do get aggro, you can't teleport around. He's spooked. So you can't see him right here, but we're going to show you a clip from where we did actually see him up there. Alright, you can see him just barely going over the mountain right here in this clip, and me also not remembering how to use my binoculars. But yeah, he moves pretty much right along this path from, east to, uh, from west to east on this side of the mountain. If, uh, oh hello there. <laughs> If you don't see him, that doesn't mean he's not there. You still want to come up to Camp 15. Keep your binoculars with you. By the way, to get Camp 15 open, if you don't have it, you just have to come into this uh, little crevasse on the side of this hallway right here to the west side of, camp of Area 15. Uh, you will need an Azure Rathalos Fellwing to unlock this one. Oh, that's our kitty saying hello. So if you're down here with the, bu the binoculars, you can actually see them. If you zoom in and take a peek, just kind of sweep it, you might see them. It doesn't look like he's up there right now, but we are going to go ahead and climb the mountain. Yeah, just to show you all the path, how to get up there if you do see them. So to get up the mountain, you want to come to area 13 here. You'll see these uh, bugs. Then if you turn your camera up and behind you, you'll see these two as well. From here, you won't have any monsters to worry about. You can go ahead and throw on the Assassin's Hood to make things a little bit quicker. So instead of going off right here, you need to climb up here. You just dash up this one, turn to the ice, and then turn your left stick to the ice. You don't want to hit X or circle, just turn your left stick toward the ice. Otherwise, you could end up kicking yourself off at the wrong trajectory. This one, as soon as you jump toward the camera, you just hit X to go up. Just go straight across here via this bug. This is a uh, little air spout, so as soon as it starts blowing air up, you can get up to that higher ledge. 
it can be a little bit fickle about when it uh, when it gives a gust. From here, you'll be able to see the peak. If your buddy is up here, he will actually be very visible from this point, as we're about to show you. By the way, if you do have uh, upsurge for butter burrs, you can actually get the ultra rare butter burr ingredient from this spot right here. There will be a plant there that you can grab. So, all right, let's take a look at when he's there. All right, as you can see, he's floating around up there now. So you just take this bug on up. Head to the left, and there's going to be another ice wall for you to climb. Our kitty likes the bu or she likes the jellyfish, so she's being pretty vocal. Now he does have a pretty wide path that he takes around the whole peak of the mountain, so you might have to wait for him to come back to you. There's a couple mining points right here behind you, if uh, or behind my character, if you have to wait for a while. But as soon as you get him, it looks pretty silly when the net <laughs> takes him down, but. You'll have your winter moon nettle, and then your achievement. Alright, now we're back at home, so let's go ahead and get him set up out there. You can really only place him in one spot. Whoa. Oh, he's huge. And there you have it, the biggest endemic life that you can have in your house. He's even bigger than the old sea dragon down there. He makes the sea dragon look like a little guy. Ooh. Got him out here with some of his buddies. Well, alrighty guys, hope this helped you out. Good luck in your endeavors in hunting down endemic life. These guys have been pretty difficult in Iceborne. I gotta say, this guy is the second most difficult to the Rock Moly. The Rock Moly's been giving us <laughs> a heck of a time. I mean, we still haven't gotten the Rock Moly yet. As soon as we do, we will be making the video on that guy. Uh, this one we just got today, after like five days of <laughs> hunting him down. Uh, yeah. uh, but anyway, guys, hope this helped you out. Uh, if it did, uh, feel free to leave us a like or a sub. Uh, you don't have to, but what we do ask for around here is that you consider adopting or rescuing an animal if it's within your means. Um, consider bringing one home or adopting, rescuing. You can also Google local animal rescue and adoption options near you. If you can't bring one home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can help out those uh, little guys out there. What are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate money, or blankets, clothes, they can use all that kind of stuff. Yep, so if you've got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show and give it out there. There's plenty of animals out there who could use it. Speaking of love, we love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. Good luck, hunters. Happy hunting! <laughs>